Lots of guys, today I'm cutting my loam and I want to show you the importance of mulching your loam. So when you mulch your loam, you don't pull a bagger on it and then it cuts up the clippings underneath the deck about five or six times, sometimes even seven, and then they drop back down onto the loam and then you leave them on your loam and they rot down. And by doing that, it brings up your soil content in the ground and it fertilizes and nourishes your loam which then makes your lawn grow faster and look, make it look more green and thicker. So it's a good beneficial thing to do for your lawn. Don't do, you don't have to do it all the time, but you can. I do it all the time to my lawns and they absolutely flourish. The, if you're wondering why it's in big clumps like this, it's cause it's been raining today and the grass is very wet, but my mowers handle it very well. So this is the one I'm using today. It's a Mountfield RV150. Now, I'm having a problem with this mower. The I think the belt's slipping. When I first got this mower, the belt wasn't on it properly. It came off, so I put it back on. It was working fine, and now I'm just having some problems. And the downfall to this mower as well is um, this height adjustment's not very good. It'll just drop like that, that on you. And that causes a lot of problems. So it's done this to my lawn. Scalped it. So that's why I'm not using this one no more. Because it keeps dropping down on me. It's a good mower. Works well. It's got the variable throttle. So you can choose how much throttle you want. You've got your half choke there. And then you've got your full choke all the way up there. This is your blade engagement. And this one underneath is your self-propelled. And it starts relatively easy. It's very fuel efficient. But I just can't use it when it's dropping down on me. Which is a problem. So I'm just going to get my other mower out. I'll show you now what mower I've got. Because I don't think I've showed you in a video like what model it is and brand. So here you go, guys. It is a Hyundai mower, 139cc. It's a good mower. I'll show you it better when I get it out. But it's a cracking mower. Right, I've just got to move my table saw a bit. Move the fuel can out of the way. Don't want to spill that everywhere because that's cost money I'll get it out on the low and I'll show you a little walk around it so here you go more of a better view of it it is a high on the high I see 140VE. It's a good mower, like it. Very powerful. The self powered amazing on it. But I like this feature. It's an electric start and pull start. There's your pull handle. The only bad thing I've got to say about it. It's this little kill switch right here. This little piece here doesn't normally work. So you have to pull the bale back and put that on yourself. Other than that, no other complaints. It's very fuel efficient. You've got about 1.2 liters in there you get. It takes 500 mil of oil. The handles are very great. The mower's got is really sturdy. Got good size wheels on the back and front. It's a 16 inch deck. It's a 18 inch deck. Sorry, uh, it's got a 16 inch blade. Now this mower, I found out is great for cutting long wet grass. It's a great mower for it. It's great for mulching, and it also does very well at bagging. I'm very impressed with it. The amount of time I've had it. I've had it 
about just over six months. I've probably had it about nearly a year now. Coming up um, this November, it'll be a year old. So it's doing well. It's great mower. It starts relatively on the electric start. So let's fire it up. Now all I need to do now is prime it. You need to prime this three to five times, but because it hasn't started in about two weeks, give it a few extra primes. Note to self to you, note to you, when you, if you do buy one of these mowers, it will, you should buy a new spark plug for it because it comes with a cheap off-brand spark plug. They don't last you very long. So I've got a champion spark plug in this right now. There's also the range it's from. It's from the P1PE, P4600SPE mower. And it's got a steel deck. It's got a one lever height adjustment. And it's great. Here's your oil dipstick for any of you people who wonder where it is. It comes out very easy, never gets stuck. Right there, you got your here you got your starter motor. You got your starter valve here, your solenoid, and then you got your connector. You can disconnect the battery, and this little port here is for your charger. Now, the charger will charge in about three to five hours. It says on there five hours. I can normally charge this up fully within five hours and it'd be ready to go back. It's absolutely amazing. The battery lasts a long period of time and it can last me because I only use it on my normally, but I do use it on jobs as well. And it probably lasts about, I'd say just over a month on the battery life. Life, so it works well for my system. It's a 12 amp power battery, I think. Oh, let me check. It is a 5 amp power 12 volt battery. I'll show you now. Right in that word there. So it should, it's pretty good. I'm really happy with it. I'd say five stars on it. Brilliant. Like I said, the only downfall is that kill switch. But I work around it. It doesn't really bother me that much. So here's your handlebars. You've got a nice padded foam. Um, over the time I've had it, it's only got one little nick, a couple of little nicks there, but not major. This is your blade engagement. This is your self-propelled. Now, this hat, self-propelled on this mower, does do um, 3.5 kilometers per hour. So that's probably around about 4.5 miles per hour. I don't really know on that. But it's got a good steel commercial blade on it. So that's why I love it. It's a good mower. Um, the self propels are very powerful. It's got a lot of torque. So does the engine. The engine has a lot of torque. So I've noticed it with long grass especially long wet grass, it cuts it very well. And I see on the bagger, you get 90% recovery and pick up on the clippings, but the mowers are designed to drop at least 10, 20% of them clippings on the lawn to fertilize it and nourish it and make it more greener, lusher, thicker. So it will make your lawn a hundred times better. So I say, I'm gonna fire this up, get my lawns cut, I haven't got my tripod on me, I haven't brought it out with me. Um, and also my phone's not got much charge in it. So this will be all for me, from me today guys. Thank you for watching and please subscribe and like and comment.
That's what happens when you don't pick up shit, guys.